Hi guys, Nick here with BitGalaxis bringing you a new video on Unity 3D development. And today I'm going to cover a few different ways that you can create your own skybox. Now the three methods that I'm going to cover are just generating a skybox from images, generating a procedural skybox using Unity's built-in procedural skybox generator, and then also baking a cube map uh, in Unity using a reflection probe. So the very first method we're going to cover is a six-sided cube map. And the way you do this is you simply go in and you find or you make six images. In my case, I'm only going to use three, um, but you'll make six images and you're going to apply those to a cube. In the, the scene editor here, I have set up just a default scene and I've put in three images that I've imported as sprites. Um, I've just basically dragged three images in. Um, I made this pretty simple like cloud for the side. There's going to be blue on top and brown on the bottom for the ground. So one of the things that you want to make sure you do for each of these is you're going to want to change the wrap mode to clamp because um, it's going to be on repeat. If you put it on repeat, it's going to have white edges um, on the cube when you're done. So how we're going to do this is we're going to right click and we're going to create a material. And this material we'll call skybox to give it a name. And with this skybox, we're going to change this to from standard shader to skybox six sided. What you'll then notice is that you now have the six options to select for putting in these images on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and put in on the bottom for down, the top for up. And in the other four, I'm going to put right, left, back, and front. Now you'll see here, if you rotate around, it's, it looks like a cube. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and apply this to our scene. So in order to do that, we just need to go into our window, rendering, lighting settings, and we're going to change our default skybox to our new material skybox. And then in your scene, you can move around, look around and see what that looks like. So you'll notice that there is a bit of a problem, and that is that it looks like a cube. It doesn't look smooth. It doesn't look like it's an infinite you know, expansion. You can actually tell that you're in a cube, and that's not necessarily ideal. So if you want to manually create one, just remember that's the limitation that you're going to face. Um, there are ways to generate them so that they look like they're not in a cube, and you'll just, you know, you'll see um some space and one option i was going to show you before moving on to the others is there was this cool generator that lets you build a space based uh skybox and it'll actually generate the images for you and i brought it up right here you can see that there is this pre-generated six images here now when you bring this into unity the only thing you have to remember is that left and right are opposite so it's going to generate the left side and the right side, you're going to want to put its right on the left and its left on the right in Unity. But this will generate a six sided cube map for you and you can randomize a seed. You can change um, whether it has small stars or not or bright stars. You can take the bright stars out um, or a sun and you can even take out the nebula and just have a giant star field. So this is pretty cool. I'm going to put the link in the description so you can check that out if you want to generate your own cube map using this, uh, especially for like a space game, um, really handy to use. So um, then the next method that we're going to cover is how to use a procedural cube or procedural skybox. And so I'm going to open up a scene. We'll save this one. And in this scene, you can see that we have the default skybox applied. And the way that you create a procedural skybox is you just go create. Then you're going to go to material. We're going to call this skybox again. And on this shader, we're going to go to skybox. Oops, let me go back. Skybox and procedural. Now, you can do a lot of things with this. Um, what you can do is set a sun size. If you can find it, change the sun size. Oh, I'm forgetting that we're still using the uh, default. You can change the sun size um, and then you can change the sun size convergent, which will make it look kind of like it's brighter. Um, and then you can change the color of the atmosphere to whatever you want. 
uh, make it kind of like a make it like a gold or something um, and then you can change the color of the ground so we'll change that maybe make it more of a blue and the way you apply that again is you just go to window rendering lighting settings and then you change it to this new skybox here and now you have your new skybox so that's procedural now the last option I've done some setup so let's go into that and look at the scene we have here for our last skybox we're going to use a baked cube map using a reflection probe and the way we're going to do this requires a little bit of setup and you can see here in this scene I've actually set up quite a few things I've already applied a procedural skybox to the background of this scene um, and I have set up these sprites, this night skyline with these sprites that are out there. And the easy way to do this is just to have uh, a little bit of like an image with some boxes and some yellow lights. Um, and all I've done is put that in there as a 2D object sprite, applied that, and then moved those sprites around in a circle. Um, if you want to know how I got a circle so well using that, um, what I really did was I put in um, this cylinder. And on that cylinder, I just move these sprites around and resize them. And then I move them using vector. If you hold V when you're moving something, you'll see that it snaps to the edge of the sprite or the corner of the sprite. And if you move that, it'll lock in place along the, uh, to, another, to another vector of another object. So I'm going to undo my move there. Uh, and we will hide that cylinder again. And then all I did there is once I got one quarter of those, I made four blocks and I rotated each of them by 90 degrees so that I have a circle. And so that's my skyline. I also did the same thing with some stars. Uh, the stars, I just put a sphere out and all I did was just put these little white stars all over the sphere. Um, and when you have a giant sphere there, it's just gonna lay on the surface of the sphere. So we're in the middle there. We can see the stars. We have that procedural background. We have these uh, this skyline here. And so you can kind of look around and that's what I want to use for my skybox. So if I were to like manually create this, remember um, the problem that I had is it looks like a box and I want it to look more like this. So we're going to use a reflection probe. Now a reflection probe will work because really what a reflection probe is, is just a six sided, like a camera that looks six directions. And so that's a great way of getting a cube map because we're basically just taking those images and putting them onto a cube map. So, the first thing that you have to do, or the, the most important step you have to do, is to make sure that all of the objects that you want to capture on that reflection probe are set to static. And so the easy way to do that, since I put all of my objects in a parent object, I have the skyline, and I set it to static here. I just check the box. So if you uncheck it, it says, do you want to change children? And you're going to say yes. So we're going to set it to static. Say yes, change children. I did the same thing with the stars. You can see it's set to static and this other set of stars as well is set to static. So now what we're going to do is in our hierarchy, we're going to create a light object reflection probe. I'm going to set this, I'm going to set its transform to zero, 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 because it's going to be centered between everything. And we're now going to go ahead and bake this. So you're gonna see right here, it says baked. Um, and we wanna make sure, I think everything looks okay here. Um, you can leave all this stuff to default. Oh, that's right, we do wanna change one thing. We wanna make sure that our resolution is something that's halfway decent. So 128 is not gonna look good. 1024, 512 is maybe okay for your needs, but you might want to do 1024 or 2048 for a higher resolution cube map for your skybox. So I'm going to say 1024. You'll want to use 2048 if you have like a higher, you know, higher resolution game. Um, you want it to look nicer, use that higher resolution. So once that's in place, you can come down here and click bake. And it's going to take a little bit to bake. And I will probably pause the video while it's doing that and then come back once it's done. And we're going to see what our result is. Okay, so now that it's baked, we can kind of preview what we saw here. 
and it's hard to see the stars because they're so small, but you can kind of tell. Uh, let's see if we can maybe increase the size of this to get us a little bit more visibility into that. And you can see we've got some white stars there. Now, I put the skyline up a little bit too high. Um, and the reason why is because I couldn't see um, before. So one of the things I'll probably want to do is put that skyline down a little bit or bring the reflection probe up so that the dark purple kind of hits right at the skyline. But for the purposes of the demonstration, we've shown that it works. So if you change this reflection probe and move it up, you're going to get that skyline touching right there. Or if you move the skyline down, you'll get the same effect. So let's see what happens when we actually apply it as a background. So what I'm going to do is just create a new scene and we're going to call it skybox test and one thing you'll notice is when the skybox was created in that same scene that we had our reflection probe so this scene here the skybox bake scene in that same folder it's going to create the skybox bake folder and it's going to give you this lighting data this reflection probe that's 1024 by 1024 and a reflection probe that's 10, 128 by 128. You will want the 1024 by 1024. There's also one other setting that we need to check before we actually apply this to a skybox. And that, on this reflection probe, is to change the com convolution type here to none. Because what you'll see is it starts to kind of blend the corners of the cube. So you'll see like this kind of like white area, it kind of looks blurrier, and you don't want that. You want it to be, you want it to look like it's not blended in any way. Um, it'll look cleaner and crisper. So make sure you turn this off if you want to see what it looks like, test it out. But now what we're going to do is go back into this, and we're going to, oh, I need to apply this first. And we're going to create a new material as soon as this saves. There it goes. And so um, we're going to create material. We're going to call it night skybox. Night skybox. And we're going to call this or make this a skybox material. And we're going to select cube map. On this cube map, we're going to select our reflection probe. I think this is, yeah, we want the higher res one. So this is the low res one. You can't even see the skyline. This is the high res one. And that's what we want to use. So now that we have that, we can actually go to our skybox test scene. We'll save everything here. We will go to window, rendering, lighting settings. And we're going to change that to our new skybox material, night skybox. And there you go. And now you'll see the combined effects. So this is no longer in the scene with the skyline. This is what the cube map has rendered. And you can tell because now if I go down or up, my skyline is no longer going down or up with me. It's all just baked into that. So for demonstration, we've proven it works. Really simple to go. I'll probably go ahead and fix this and show you the final image once it's done. Um, I'll be back in just a minute. And there we go. After fixing it um, and rebaking, with the, uh, I made the reflection probe a little bit higher in the other scene, and after rebreaking it, this is the end result. Uh, you see that the light now the, the skyline is actually touching the ground. So there you can see that we can bake that image, and you can make any scene you want to. You can put 3D objects in here. Uh, you can throw that in there as long as you set everything that you want to be captured to static. You will get that. I would also recommend that if you're going to create or bake a new skybox, that you make a whole new scene to do it. Um, I don't know why I had complications doing this myself, but there were some. I, I tried to do this with an existing scene that I had already created, and I tried to set everything to static. And unfortunately, I could not get some things to capture, even though they were just 3D yeah. objects. Um, there shouldn't have been any reason. It looked like it should have worked. Um, but once I recreated the scene entirely and baked it with the brand new scene, it worked, even though it was the same exact objects and everything like that. So that's my only extra tip for this. So there we have it, guys. Now you know how to make three different types of sky boxes. In each case, you're going to want to have a material, and you're going to set that material to a sky box type. And one of the types is going to be the six-sided, where you're going to grab six images, and you're going to throw one image onto each side, top, bottom, left, right, forward, and back. 
One of those is going to be the procedural, where you can use Unity's built-in procedural method for making this planet with an atmosphere and a sun, and you can make all sorts of colors with that. The default skybox that you get with Unity is also a procedurally generated one, so you're just changing that to something that you want. And then the last option is using a cube map, and you can generate that cube map using a reflection probe. You use the reflection probe, you bake the refre reflection probe, then you take that cube map, be sure to check your resolution and then the convolution settings, um, and then you take that cube map and you apply it as the material for the cube map on your skybox. And that's everything I got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please like, and I hope to see you next time.